Hello uh, again and, and welcome to Frank School. Fourth day of the alternate uh, start to the <coughs> third year. Uh, let's see. All right. <clears throat> A true, I, I had said that I quote speeches. Let me start uh, by doing that. And, and what I would do each day with the students was I'd quote speeches from the day before, see how they're doing on it. Uh, and so here are some speeches from, <clears throat> uh, from the day before, or even maybe the day before that. And my only question would be, who said that? That, that would be enough. See, I'm just trying to make the kids feel good about Shakespeare. And I'd have the names on the board. So, which character said, um, <clears throat> For I am rough and woo not like a babe. So I to her and so she yields to me, For I am rough and woo not like a babe. That's Petruchio talking to the fathers. There's no problem. And which character then says, But be thou armed for some unhappy words. <laughs> That's the father, uh, uh, Baptista, saying, you better be ready. This may not be too good. Uh, now, <clears throat> I ask, what is Petruchio's strategy? Before he goes in to see Kate, what's his strategy? And usually I would pause it as the students were watching it. Uh, at the end of his speech, I'd pause it and say, all right, can you say what he meant by all that? Let me just quote a little bit of it. I, I might remember more. Say that she frowned. I'll say she is clear as morning, as roses washed in morning dew. If she do bid me pack, I'll say thanks as if she asked me to stay by her a week. If she be mute, I'll praise her eloquence and say she uttereth piercing eloquence or something. Um, if she refuse to wed, refuse to wed. I'll crave the bands and ask when we be married. If she do bid me pack, uh, maybe I said that already. If she do bid me pack, yeah, yeah, I'll say thanks as if I said that already. Anyway, who said it? That's Petruchio. And what is his strategy? That's a much harder question. I would not make it part of the test, but I would ask the kids. And his strategy basically is to understand the opposite of what she says. Whatever she says, he's going to pretend that she said the opposite. Uh, you know, questionable strategy, but anyway, that's his plan. Uh, now, which character said, will you, nil you, I will marry you? That's Petruchia, of course. And it's interesting, the verb to nil. Will you, uh, nowadays, I might even say to the students, how would you say that in modern English? Whether you want me to, whether you want to or not, want to, I will marry you. Will you nil you? To nil, to not want something. I guess it was once a, a verb, if not, Shakespeare made it. He created a lot of words just for his use. Which character said, so I mean to warm me in thy bed? Uh, Petruchio, of course. Which character says, of all things living, a man's the worst. I'll see thee hanged on Sunday first. Which character said that? Of course, Kate. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, of all things living, a man's the worst. I'll see me hanged on Sunday. Oh, I know what it is. Uh, his explanation uh, is that they agreed between themselves. Hopefully you understand this. <clears throat> he says, he lies, that between themselves they agreed that Kate is going to pretend to be a shrew. But actually, she's, she's completely tame. <laughs> no, this is a big lie. All right. Um, in what you um, are about to see... Now, wait. Here, let me go on with this, too. Kate's plan. Kate's plan is to go along with this. Uh, and so much of this is Zeffirelli's movie. I actually think the movie is better than the original Shakespearean play. Uh, Kate's plan is to go along with the wedding. Uh, let her father spend all that money on the banquet and uh, get her a new dress and pretend everything's going to be fine. But then, uh, when it comes to the altar, she's going to say no and make fools out of everybody. That's her plan. She's scheming. Uh, Petruchio's plan. Well, part of it 
is that he is going to go and get the most outrageous outfit that he can put together. And that again is, is described at length in the play. And well, he comes in in an outrageous outfit, which is fun. Uh, he's doing that, as he says, to me she's married, not unto my clothes. You know, what do the clothes matter? That's part of the plan. And more of the plan, at least in Zeffirelli's uh, version, is that he doesn't show up on time. It, it, you see a sundial. It's a little hard to read a sundial if you never had. But if you're quick enough, you can figure out that the wedding was supposed to be at 10, I think, and it's 2.30 before he finally shows up. And, of course, this is all fun to watch. Even if you didn't understand what they were saying, <clears throat> I think the students really would have fun watching it. The wedding is only described in the play. The wedding scene does not happen in the play. Somebody comes, a character comes in and describes what happened. Uh, this, I think, is what Zeffirelli did is much better. Now, uh, in the wedding, which you haven't seen yet, uh, the wedding march, I point out to the students that here's the wedding procession, the wedding march. Uh, well, and I won't tell you what it is, I'll just let you see. I should also explain that the whole town is rooting for Petruchio. They want Kate to be married because they want rid of her. Uh, so they want him to pull this off. <clears throat> And at the end of what I'm going to ask you to, uh, to watch, uh, Kate's sitting on a donkey. She's in the rain. Uh, Petruchio and Grumio have ridden off on their horses. There she is. And you might think, well, why doesn't she just go back to her father? It's not that easy. Ba back in those days, a woman was a man's property pretty much all her life. She was her father's property. Now she is her husband's property. She can't really go back. Now that does not mean she's tame. She, she is not tame at all. This is about the taming of the shrew, not the marrying of the shrew. She is married. Now how she, how she ends up being married against her will, uh, I'll, let, I'll let you see that. Uh, and then I'll talk about it tomorrow. Finally, don't feel too sorry for Kate. Uh, I mean, don't feel so sorry for Kate that it spoils the movie for you. Um, that's going to be even more so in what I ask you to watch uh, tomorrow. But today I would ask you to stop just as they are leaving town. As, uh, okay, uh, see you next time.